What is up, guys? We are back for another Live in the OU tier today. Today is our Monday episode, of course, and I decided to bring in a team based off of our UPA draft. I have six Pokemon that are part of our UPA team, the draft league format that we're part of. So as you can see, we've got Weavile, Chestnut, Latias, uh, the Blade, Mega Slowbro, and Seismitoad. Creates a really nice core, actually. It's not, a, it's not a bad team at all. I've been testing it a little bit. Catches a couple of people off guard with certain sets, so uh, it's really nice. They're mostly standard sets for all of them, except maybe Chestnut's a little bit weird, but uh, everything else is pretty standard, so uh, I won't take up uh, any more of, time, of your time explaining the team. I'm just going to pause and wait until we get a battle. It is kind of late as usual, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, and uh, we got one. This guy's got a pretty standard team. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Now, I really like the Blade as the lead because it beats Latias, Jirachi, and... Uh, Metacham. Why do I feel like I've seen this team before? Three psychic types. Those three specifically. Did... Hold on a second. Yeah, I think this is Blunder's team. Which means that's Specs Keldeo? I can't remember. Um, St Stealth Rocks Rachi? Maybe? Anyway, like I said, I'm just gonna lead the Blade here. It's fine. It's, uh, it's a good lead. Uh, not against Rotom, of course, but, uh, yeah, now he can just get a burn off on something, which is a little annoying. Uh, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go into Seismitoad here. Take the burn, get up my rocks. They're extremely important this game. Be able to whittle down Pokemon, such as this Rotom, such as Landorus, so. I don't mind taking the burn, as we actually don't, because he misses, so. I'm just gonna go for a Toxic right here, as his only play is to will wisp me, and hopefully we don't miss our Toxic. And we do not, so we are able to whittle down this Rotom a little bit more through the use of status, and we're just gonna go for rocks right here, as he is gonna go into Keldeo, not exactly sure why, um, obviously he can go for the secret sword, but I have a blade, so, and we are physically defensive, I'm curious, um, I have like four checks to this thing, so, I don't want my Lottie to get weakened, I'm just gonna go slow bro, honestly, what can this thing do to me, I'm just gonna scald, don't burn. All right. So we take that burn, unfortunately, but um, I'm actually probably just going to double into Chestnut here. His Rotom's faster than me, though. I'm EV to outspeed max speed uh, Jolly Azumarill, so Belly Drum Azumarill, basically. Uh, that's how I spread this thing out. But i um, going to go Latias here, I guess, is okay. Yeah, Latias okay here. As he goes into his Jirachi, actually. And as you can see, it is leftovers. Yeah, so th this is his Stealth Rocker, and I think he's Rock Polished Lando or Scarfed Lando. I'm not 100% sure. I I've definitely seen this team before, though, recently as well. So he's going to get up rocks right here. Nothing I can do about that, uh, except for go straight into Weavile and threaten him out immediately, which is my play. As he goes for those rocks. And now I'm going to be able to knock off something's item, other than Metacham, of course. And we're just going to go for that. He's going to go into his Landorus, actually. So if it was Scarfed, it just lost its Scarf. Uh, we go for that knockoff. I do not think... Yeah, that is Scarf damage, actually. Uh, and we only take one hit of Life Orb. So he just said, oh, wait. I guess he just realized that, uh, <laughs> that he needed this. Uh, now he lost his Scarf. And I can just fire off an Icicle Crash here, actually. I didn't want to miss, but at the same time, I didn't want something coming in for completely free and taking no damage from an Ice Shard, so I think that was definitely my best play. As now he can go into Keldeo and threaten me a little bit more, but like I said, I have like four checks to Keldeo, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure he specs. How much damage did he do to Slowbro before? Um, 35%. I'm almost 100% sure that's specs. Keldeo, All Out Attacker, which is the spec set versus Slowbro. Before Mega Evolving, please, and Scald. Yeah, that's definitely Specs. That might even be Modest Specs, uh, because this caps out at 34. Uh, well, our, this set has 24 Special Defense, whereas we do not. So he actually got a max roll on that Scald and a burn, so pretty crazy. Um, I'm just going to go to Blade here, because he can't really fire off a Water Move as long as Seismitoad's around. Well, I guess he technically could. Uh, so I'm going to go Seismitoad, because... Yeah, alright, so that didn't work out. Uh, but now I can go into the blade, knowing that this thing is specs. 
and uh, pretty much set up a swords dance and attempt to sweep. But he predicts that very nicely and goes into his Rotom. So I'm just going to double right back into Seismitoad so he can't get a pain split off on me. And uh, and that he also can't burn me because I'm, we're already burned, obviously. And do we have leftovers? Yeah, we do. Do we live burn is the question. We do not. Okay. So right here, um, he does still have the Rachi. I want to go into Latias, predict the Rachi, and go back into Blade. I think is my play. Because then if I go to plus two, if his Rotom comes in, it takes a little more damage. So I wouldn't set up right away. I'm just going to go back into the Blade here. As he chooses to switch out into Jirachi, that's great. I actually think he has Fire Punch on this set, I'm pretty sure. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost 100% sure he has Fire Punch on this thing. So this might not be the best play. But then again, how much does Fire Punch do from Jirachi? Jirachi, OU, especially defensive, but give it Fire Punch. I know it's got a bit of attack investment, so I am gonna... I'm gonna mix that up a little bit against the Blade. Swords Dance. Um, that is not a lot of damage, and even if we give it 250 to attack, so, but do I really want to risk a burn? This thing can burn me at any second because of Serene Grace. No, I don't really want to do that, so, just gonna go slow bro here, play it safe. Uh, he's gonna go for Body Slam, so that's fine, we're already status, that doesn't matter, so he might not actually have it. Um, I'm pretty free to fire off a Scald here. Yeah, I'm just going to Scald on this turn. He's going to Iron Head trying to flinch me down. That doesn't work out, and we are able to get a Scald off. No burn, though. That's fine. Um, kind of makes up for the hacks from earlier. Body Slam, Iron Head, do you have the Psychic move is the question. You may not. I'm going to go into Chestnut on you, get my Regenerator back with Slowbro. And we are going to see another Iron Head right there. That's fine. I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed right here. He's going to go for the U-turn. Okay, so he shows that he does not have Fire Punch, which means that the Blade can sweep now. I just need to bring it in on the, at the right time, which might be very, very soon. Latios's Psy Shock. I know I'm running a lot of uh, Calcs here, but I just want exact damage. So Life Orb Attacker versus Chestnut. Just not uh, physically defensive, but with a lot less physical bulk than this. Let's just say this. Psy Shock, I believe, still fails to take me out, as it does. So I'm just going to fire off a Drain Punch right here in case he wants to defog. He's actually going to go for a Hidden Power Fire, so that's perfectly fine. Going to be able to get off a little bit of damage on this Latios. Go up a little bit in health. We're almost back up to half, and I'm going to be able to Spiky Shield right here. Not take the next Hidden Power Fire, as he actually chooses to go for Draco, so very nice play. I guess predicting my own Lottie. And, uh, or my Slowbro, not sure which one. Spiky Shield does have that same 50% um, chance to go a second time. He has in Power Fire, and do I really want to risk this? Um, I think I might much rather just Spiky Shield again as it fails, unfortunately. He's going to go for a Draco, and he's going to be able to knock us out. But now his Lottie is extremely low, and it's at 50% uh, special attack, which means... Which means what? Does Rotom die? I need to know. Rotom. Rotom Wash, how much do you take uh, from a De Blade at plus two? I've only ever run these Calyx with the Blade in UU, so I don't really know them. But Shadow Sneak obviously doesn't do anywhere near enough, uh, so we won't be able to set up just yet. Um, but we can go into the Blade, as we do take very little from Rocks. Basically, keep him from defogging, and we can defog whenever we want. I'm not too worried about Slowbro being being burned either, because I still have Healing Wish from Lottie. And that's why it's really good in the Draft League format as well, guys. It's just, as you can see, my Slowbro got weakened through burn, through Stealth Rocks, and taking repeated attacks. But now, I can heal it back up, and basically beat the Rotom, beat the Metacham, beat the Keldeo, and even the Rachi, as long as it doesn't para flinch me down, so... So we're looking pretty good. I think we're okay. He chooses to go into Keldeo right here. Um, okay. He's definitely Specs. We know that. We know that about him. We also know that a Max Roll Scald does 35% to Slowbro. So, 
Latias is my play. And then just Healing Wish right away. Might be that. Might be that. Um, yeah, I can go Lottie here, though, anyway. And um, he's going to go for the Scald. See, it's only going to do 27%. He is going to get the burn, unfortunately. And I think I have to Healing Wish here, regardless. Uh, he's not going to stay in, though. So I could take this as an opportunity to go into the Blade and get off some more damage on this Rotom. Yeah, I'm going to go into the Blade. He's probably going to switch out as he does, and into Medicham, so that's actually really good, because that's going to force a switch, which means I can probably just go for Secret Sword right here. As he chooses to stay in, not sure why, I'm immune to your Fake Out, as he gets hit by that, and now I can Shadow Sneak you, so... Not sure why he did that, especially now that his Rotom cannot Pain Split up on my Latias when I bring it in, so... Uh, this guy's not uh, not thinking anymore. That's what he just said in the chat. So I agree with him. He's not doing too well here. He's gonna go for the Thunder Punch, do a little bit of damage to me, not enough, and his Metacham will go down to the next sneak. So another threat eliminated. Uh, something the only thing left on his team with priority, and um, uh, so his Keldeo decides to come in again. So do I want to keep this? I mean, Weavile can knock out the Jirachi at this point. Now I can bring in Slowbro, fire off a Scald, or I can bring in Latias and Healing Wish back up my Slowbro. Um, he would probably go into Jirachi. The thing is, I don't want to risk getting Para Flinch down and losing the game to that. But then again, if he, if he paralyzes me, then he can't burn me, which is good. And Jirachi's Iron Head is going to do nothing to Slowbro. I think he's going to run out of Iron Heads before he actually gets me down to any any kind of remotely close to dying. So I might even just stay in here and just sneak. Weavile's still good because it knocks out the Rachi if Slowbro can't. And at the range that the Rotom's at, it won't be able to do anything to me. So I'm just going to sneak here, get off as much damage as I can on this thing. He's going to go for a Scald. I'm going to go down to that, obviously. Um, I'm going to go Latias and Healing Wish up. Let's see what he does. He goes into Rachi as expected. Great. And we're going to be able to heal up our Slowbro now. And go for the Calm Mind on this turn, I think, is the play. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for Calm Mind. He's going to go for U-Turn, which is perfectly fine, as I'll be able to get off this Calm Mind right here. He's going to go into his Rotom. And do I want to risk him Pain Splitting? I want to know how much his Rotom does to me. Slowbro. Defensive. Volt Switch normally does 47 to 55, but at plus one, it does 30 to 37. So, he might just want to burn me here. I think is what it, that's what he's going to go for. Which is really unfortunate. I was hoping that he would pair me. Um, going to go for Psy Shock. He's going to go for the burn. Luckily, though, I can slack this off and potentially still win. He's going to go for the Volt Switch right here. It's going to do a lot. Uh, I don't know why I haven't Mega Evolved yet, honestly. Uh, it makes no sense, but I'm going to be able to get up to 61% here. And now I'm going to Mega Evolve. Uh, yep. And how much is Rotom at? 12, so it dies to Stealth Rock, so it's not an issue. His Keldeo is at 59. So I know it doesn't go down to a knockoff. It only goes down at about 32, so I still need damage on that. Uh, I'm going to go for Slack Off here. Uh, he's going to go for the Iron Head, try to flinch us down. Let's see if he gets it. He does not on this turn, so we're going to have a couple of opportunities to fire off Scalds here. He's going to go for Iron Head again. We're going to get flinched that time. I have to start going for Slack Offs every time now. He's only got 20 Iron Heads, though, so that's the good news. Um, he goes for another one. We do, he does not get flinched on this turn, which is great. Good job, Slowbro. Going to try to go for a Scald here. See if we can get it off. As we do. So, And do we burn him? No, we do not. That's fine, though, because he's leftovers. He can't do anything to us. As long as we b break through enough uh, flinches right here, we should be good to go. As uh, his Jirachi is just spamming Iron Head. This is a little bit stally right here. Uh, let's see. We can't be crit either. Okay, so we get the, the next slack off off. That's good. I'm just going to go for a Scald again. He's going to go for an Iron Head. He's eventually going to run out. As long as we break through enough Iron Heads, we're good, because he will run out of 
Iron heads, uh, uh, enough flinches, sorry. We're gonna, we have to break out of enough flinches here. So he's gonna get that one, that's unfortunate. We just need to break out of this one. No, come on, slow bro. This one, please. Still have a chance? Nope, he flinches us all the way down. Gotta love Jirachi, man. Well, good news is that we can still crit the Keldeo and the Jirachi right now, so let's go for that. As his Jirachi does not go down and we will die to an iron head right here. So, good game to him. That's unfortunate, and that was a really long game. So, just gonna pause it until we get the next one, guys. We might keep it short to two games, unfortunately. We'll see what we can do, and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, and we got one, and this guy has a... <laughs> he has, like, the two biggest threats to my team in Gengar and Manectric. So, that's really scary, but... Luckily, I have a Seismitoad that can take on the Manectric relatively well. Um, I'm actually just gonna lead with Slowbro here. I think it's my best play. As his Crawdont leads. Okay, well, it can't knock me out. You know what? Let's just go for a Scald. He's gonna go for a Swords Dance, that's fine. I'm gonna go for a Scald right here, do 29%, and get a burn, so Swords Dance wasted right there. And I'm just gonna slack off on his attack, as he does not actually go for an attack. I'm just gonna keep slacking off because even this knockoff will not take me out. And he's eventually gonna kill himself off to burn right here. I'm just gonna go Chestnut on this one. Uh, on his next knockoff, it's going to do 51%, which is actually very respectable. And I'm not even going to risk him being super fast. I'm just going to spiky shield right here. Uh, the only wall that I let really get low is Chestnut, so I'll trade Chestnut for a Crawdont any day. This is my wall to Crawdont, so. Uh, he chooses to go into Garchomp, not exactly sure why. I'm just going to Leech Seed this thing. He's going to Swords Dance again in my face, alright. Uh, so I'm just going to Woodhammer him. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks this turn, so he's going to take a lot from Woodhammer. And I uh, don't know what's going on right now, but uh, just going to Spiky Shield here, prevent him from being able to attack me. As he's going to go for the Dragon Claw, he's going to hurt himself with the Spiky Shield, and our Chestnut is still alive. And now I can just go into Seismitoad on his Manectric. I'm trying to make this one fast, guys. I'm gonna going to pick up a quick win here. As he gets the Intimidate off, he goes for the Flamethrower. That's going to do absolutely nothing. He's not going to get the burn. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks right here as he brings in his Gengar, which is a threat, of course, like we said before. But I can pretty much sack off my Chestnut at this point. Do I want to do that? Um, he has an Azumarill, so maybe not. What can I go into on this thing, though? See, I have three... I have three Ghost Weeks, and that's why I picked up Stoutland, guys. For, it was for people that had Ghosts. So, just gonna fire off a Scald right here. He's gonna get off a big Shadow Ball, obviously. He's not Life Orb, though. I'm curious to know what he is. He is not Leftovers either. What are you? Are you Scarfed? I guess he could be Scarfed. He still has two Intimidators at full, so that kind of messes up my Deblade. Um, I have to go for another Scald as he takes down our Seismitoad, but now I can go into Deblade and immediately threaten him out with a Shadow Sneak. And that is exactly what I will go for. I don't care if he switches out into Lando. I need to make sure this Gengar does not stay in here and threaten me any longer. I have checks to the rest of his Pokemon, so I'm not worried. As uh, he can Volt Switch around freely now, but we got rid of the Gengar. So that's what, step one. Next step is to keep the Azumarill from just straight up winning. And our Chestnut has enough health to do that, I believe. Is Azumarill is going to come in here. I'm just going to Iron Head this thing to keep it low. This goes for a knockoff, so that hurts like crazy, but this is going to hurt as well. And uh, he is Citrus, which is good, so he won't be able to Belly Drum right here. He has to... Okay, well, goodbye Azumarill. Um, and his Manectra comes in now. Uh, so Lottie's pretty free, I guess. Um, I want to keep this thing just to be able to Shadow Sneak at the end of the turn. Just go Latios, uh, Latios, excuse me. He's going to go for Flamethrower, not going to just drop a Draco on something on his team. He can go for the Volt Switch all he wants, but this is pretty much going to kill his Landorus, depending on his set, of course. But if he's defensive, I'll speed him on the next turn. And we are able to knock out the Landorus right there. Obviously, his Manectric can knock me out with a Hidden Power Ice. I, maybe, maybe not. He's going to go for Hidden Power Ice. It's not going to knock us out. Hopefully, we hit as we do, and we knock him down to 25%, and that's pretty much going to put him in range of either Shadow Sneak or Ice Shard from either of our two priority mons, and that is a win for us. So let's try to keep the uh, the usual going, guys. We'll try to put a uh, two-in-one record on this episode. I'm just going to pause it until we get one once again. Be right back. 
All right, and we've got one. So this guy has a very threatening team with three dragons on it, and then a fairy, and a steel, and a random Rotom Wash. So it's going to be a pretty difficult game, I think. Um, luckily, Chestnut puts in a good amount of work, actually, because if Woodhammer just destroys things. Um, so what does he have for a first turn Seismitoad? He can burn me, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Seismitoad. And uh, on his Clefable, so that's good. We're going to be able to get our, up our Stealth Rocks right here. And let's see what he wants to go for. He goes for his own Rocks, so that's good. Uh, I'm just going to try to Toxic. I know this thing is more than likely Magic Guard, but if it is unaware, I want to be able to wear it down with Toxic if I can. We'll see right away. As he goes for Moonblast, that actually does a lot. Okay. Uh, and he's not taking Toxic damage, so that pretty much tells me that he's Magic Guard. I prefer to test it out that way than any other way, so... Uh, just gonna go to Blade here. Threaten this thing out. And then I'll probably do uh, double into... Maybe Weavile? I have to see. But he goes for the Moonblast, gets a crit on that turn, unfortunately. And gets another Spatak drop. Luckily, this one doesn't matter. And I can't really stand because of the Guard Chomp. It's so annoying. Um, well, let's see here. What do I want to do? Weavile wins, so I need to keep it healthy. On the Garchomp, I'm going to go slow, bro. As uh, he brings in his Rotom, actually. Okay. Uh, that makes sense, though. That definitely makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to slack off here. See what he wants to do. He goes for Volt Switch. We'll be back up to full. He actually chooses to burn us. So we're in the same position as last game. And uh, now I'm going to go Seismitoad, predicting the Volt Switch. And he's probably more than likely going to go for that, so... As we do see the Volt Switch, and now I'm going to Toxic this thing as well. If he wants to go into Clefable, I can wear it down with Earth Powers and potentially get Special Defense Drops, as he actually misses the uh, Wisp, so... Very similar to our first game, actually. And... Now I'm just going to go back into Slowbro, I think. Uh, actually, Lottie's my play. Lottie's definitely my play. Because uh, uh, he's more than likely going to Volt Switch or Hydro Pump. So yeah, so there we go. Had I stayed in, he would have given me health, which is a little bit weird. I don't know why he did that. But now I can just fire off a Psy Shock on the incoming Clefable. More than likely coming in. Definitely not any one of his dragons. And his Rotom doesn't really want to stay in. Okay, never mind. Uh, he wants to lose his Rotom, so... He's going to Volt Switch here, and now his Rotom is in range of a plus two Shadow Sneak, I believe. Possibly. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to keep this. We're going to just switch out into Seismitoad here. It's perfectly fine. I know it may seem a little weird because it doesn't really beat Clefable, but with Earth Power, you have the potential of getting special defense drops, so that's kind of what I'm going for. We'll see what he wants to do. He's probably just going to Moonblast. I don't have a very good Moonblast switch into my team. Clefable and Rotom Wash kind of wall my offensive presence. So he's going to go for Moonblast right there. He's going to get another special attack drop. Okay, getting a little bit frustrated now, but uh, we'll keep cool. Uh, as he goes for another Moonblast, he's going to not get a special attack drop on that one. And I'm just going to fire off another Earth Power at this point. And basically what I'm going to do... Oh, I get a crit on that one. Okay, cool. I'm going to go into the Blade. I threaten this thing out immediately, and I'm just going to Swords Dance here. And if he wants to go into his Rotom, we calced it before. I know I don't do too much, but after the Stealth Rocks and Poison, I think he goes down to Shadow Sneak, I believe. So we'll test it out anyway. He goes into Rotom, I'm going to be able to Swords Dance here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait the... Yeah, I'm going to bait the the, um, the Will-O-Wisp, and I'm going to go into Latias. And he's probably going to go for that, as he does, which is good. Unfortunately, we don't have Recover on this Latias, which is a little bit of an issue. But, he just took 12% from Poison, which means after the next round of Poison, I'm going to Healing Wish right away. I'm going to Healing Wish my Deblade up. After the next round of Poison, he goes down to Shadow Sneak. I'm almost 100% sure. So... It's pretty safe, and uh, he's more than likely going to go back into Clefable anyway, so, uh, as he does. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now he definitely goes down. We are just going to Swords Dance right here. He doesn't have any one Pokemon that can Oko me, so if he lets me get up a Swords Dance right now, 
and goes into Rotom, I can actually potentially sweep him with with just this and you guys will see how much damage this thing can do to a team obviously if his uh if his garchomp is rocky helmet rough skin then we have a little bit of an issue but we should be able to deal with it i'm just gonna go for a sneak here it's gonna be able to take out the rotom and now we're in a good position so we'll see if his if his latios has hp fire we'll see if his if his Dragonite is banded with Fire Punch, his Garchomp could also have Fire Blast on it. So pretty much every Dragon gets a Fire move uh, in this game. Maybe not Flygon, I don't know. But this is, uh, this is a pretty pa favorable situation. I definitely need to keep this thing alive for Clefable, however. So I need to be very, very smart about how I play this right now. He's going to go into Garchomp. Now, this is probably not his Mega. We can assume that it's defensive. I just want to see something. Garchomp, OU Tank Chomp versus the Blade. The Blade and the Earthquake does 40 to 47. So not favorable for us. Iron Head does very little. At plus two, it does a lot though. So I am just gonna go for the Iron Head and hope he's offensive at this point. That doesn't look offensive damage, but apparently it is. Um, and we'll be able to Shadow Sneak right here. And do we just win? Hold on a second. I'm at 700 attack with a base four. Maybe. Maybe. We might be able to win right here. Hold on a second. Hold up. Uh, he got a crit on my Deblade before, right? With Moonblast, I think. Was that the case? I don't know anymore, guys. It's too late right now. He did, okay. And it did 28. So I don't think he can take me out. He brings in Metagross. Metagross, do you live? Metagross, let's say Mega, because that's probably what it is. Definitely lives Shadow Sneak, okay. Alright, so we have to win with Weavile. We have to flinch the Clefable once. So Shadow Sneak it up. As he has Bullet Punch, and he goes for that for some reason, instead of actually knocking me out properly. And now we're going to be able to keep our Deblade for a little bit longer. So, thanks for that. And now we win with Weavile. No questions asked. Because he just... Okay, and he's switching into, into his Clefable. So, he just pretty much gave us the game. Uh, we're going to Shadow Sneak everything now. And now that his Clefable's dead, this... Yeah. I don't know why he did that. Honestly, he just made a, a bunch of unnecessary switches. And you can see how much work the Blade can put in, and this is why this thing has been on so many championship teams, is because it can sweep, and you are not expecting it to sweep. I just wreck shop. He goes for extreme speed with his Dragonite, okay. Alright, so yeah, this game's over. <laughs> he, again, he, he could have knocked me out with Earthquake, he could have tried to salvage the game, maybe had Bullet Punch on Metagross plus Thunder Punch plus Zen Headbutt, who knows? But instead, he chooses to extreme speed twice and lose to the Blade. I guess he wanted to see a Blade sweep. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. He can still get a crit with his Metagross. I'm not I'm not saying GG just yet because he can still crit me with Metagross. This is Pokemon. But again, he chooses to go into the Pokemon that's just gonna die to Shadow Sneak. And uh, we got a 6-0 sweep with the Blade, guys. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy about this Pokemon sweeping. Wait, 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 right, I just said it. We have to not get crit by bullet punch. As we do not, we live on one. Oh my. Woo! All right, so we <laughs> were able to pick that one up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the blade sweep. It was really fun. I'm at 17.05, which is not bad in OU, I guess. It's it's decent. Where are we on the ladder, actually? I'm curious because I haven't played much this week. Um, 17.06, we said. I don't even think I'm top 500, am I? Yeah, I am. Um, right around here. Was it 1706? Yeah, I'm right there. Okay. 1705, actually. Did I just decay, like, in a second? No, I'm 1705. I'm crazy, guys. It's late. So, yeah, we're 412. That's not very good. I'd like to be a lot higher, but... Oh, well. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button down below. This is a really fun live. Uh, after losing that first game, I'm really glad we were able to pick it back. <laughs> I really thought we were going to lose that, that last game. He was playing so well around the blade. I didn't think that he would make all those misplays and just start e-speeding and bullet-punching my Deblade. Like, that's not going to do anything, man. 
But anyway, again, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions, or if you want to be featured on the channel, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter, which is in the description as well, and thanks again for watching. Ciao!